A major media deal could be in the works. Bloomberg News has learned Comcast is in talks to buy a 50% stake in NBC Universal. Our next guest says the likelihood of a deal is still remote. Porter Bibb is managing partner at MediaTek Capital Partners. And he joins us live on set today. Porter, always good to see you. It's a pleasure to be here. So Comcast is denying reports it has a deal, but of course they're talking, right? They have admitted that they're talking, and, and so is everybody else talking to, to GE right now. So what's the likelihood Comcast ultimately snaps up NBC Universal? Well, this is the longest-running shaggy dog story in the media business. It's been going on ever since Vivendi bought uh, their 20% of NBCU, and they have that window November uh, 15th to December 10th, and nothing is going to happen until then. But GE is exploring all the options because, A, uh, Vivendi has said this is not a core investment, and they have indicated for the first time that they probably will offload it. So for this to happen for Comcast, Vivendi has to sell its 20 percent stake in NBCU. They either sell it to a third party, to GE, or they force GE to take NBCU public, which so, is never going to happen. Okay. Analysts are valuing NBC Universal at as much as $35 billion, including its debt. So given the improved market conditions, is that yeah. a likely I, I price? Think, well, Could I, it get some higher? analysts are, are in that range, but others, uh, Sanford Bernstein came out uh, yesterday and, and put a 20 to $21 million valuation, which is much closer to where it is. The problem with, with taking NBCU public, which, which otherwise wouldn't be a bad strategy, is that when you have full transparency and disclosure, you're going to find that there are a lot of holes in the bucket at NBCU, and it's not nearly such a good asset as GE is pretending it is. What are those holes? Well, the, first of all, they're, they're losing disastrously on the advertising. Then Jeff Zucker made a, a roll of the dice, bet the store decision to put Jay Leno on at 10 o'clock, and he's now getting um, not even midday uh, audience ratings. And, and uh, 50, yesterday, TiVo came out. And said uh, research shows that 50% of the people who are watching Leno are time shifting him into Conan and other NBC shows. Oy. Okay. So, so they've got a huge gaping hole in the middle of prime time, five yeah, days a week. Comcast says the main draw for them is NBC's content. It, well, con so explain. Brian Roberts understands that the, the de facto monopoly that cable has had for 30-odd mm -hmm. years uh, is going away. Digital and Internet and wireless and the telecoms are eating into their market. He knows that he's got a bunch of dumb pipes out there and he's got to fill them with content. So he's, he's very hungry for content. So who needs whom more, Comcast or NBC? Well, I think Comcast needs the NBC needs a home. NBCU is going to find itself hanging out there. It doesn't it never really fit in with GE. Jack Welch loved it. Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Immelt is trying to pretend that it has some fit. It's throwing off a little bit of cash, not enough to make much of a difference. But GE is under great financial stress right now because of GE Capital. So they will they will monetize this. Can NBCU stand alone? No way. No way. Not no, like a CBS. Not today. No, well, look at what's happening to CBS. That's right. You were here after our interview <laughs> with Les right. Moonves over. Yeah, C CBS is going to be gobbled up by somebody very quickly as well. Ooh, who? Who do you well, think? Well, probably uh, its its former partner, Viacom, because when Sumner Redstone split the two, he did not get the value he was looking for. And that that makes the best fit. On the cable side, what impact will it have for Comcast rival Time Warner? Well, nobody's talking about Time Warner cable. They they're actually in a pretty good position to go out and buy content, which they will start to do. They're, they're a new separate company right now, and, and Time Warner, the old Time Warner, is under Jeff Bucus, a pure content company. They're going to have to put some content in Time Warner cable, or they're going to feel the heat as well.